Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to another weekend haul. I am really excited to share what I found with you guys because at first I thought that this weekend was going to be a wash. I went to three different thrift stores and I walked out of all of them empty handed because I just wasn't feeling the items that they had. And at my fourth store, all of my luck turned around because I got there right when they were putting out a Justin rack. If your thrift store doesn't have those, basically it's just a rack that they roll out that has brand new merchandise that they haven't sorted into the various areas of the store that it needs to go. So it's kind of like a first dibs rack. Um, and although I didn't get first dibs, I still, I think I was the third person to the rack and I don't know how, but I was still able to get some really amazing pieces. Starting off with this Reformation dress. It is a maxi dress. I looked it up on Poshmark. It goes between $100 and $200. So definitely an excellent way to start off the weekend after leaving said three other thrift stores. Along with that same, whoever donated the first piece also donated this, just a cute little white top and a cute little skater skirt. They're all the same size all on the same rack, so I'm certain that the same person um, sent them in. Then at another store, I found another Reformation piece. This is just a burgundy jumpsuit. It has, I can't find the label. There we go, um, same label. If you're not familiar with Reformation, this is the older label. So the see-through label like this is the older label. The newer label is just solid black and it's skinny. Then I thought this was hilarious. I found, I thrifted the same exact pants that I was wearing the day that I was in the thrift store. So these are some of my absolute favorite Lululemon pants. They are called On The Fly. And they have, they're newer. So instead of having the silver logo, they have the nice flush black logo. And these can go for around $50. So I was really excited to find these. Then I found this skirt and I have never heard of the brand before, but when I looked up comps, I was so pleasantly surprised. It's called Natalie Martin and there's a lot of people who collect her pieces. This is called the Lulu skirt and it goes for around $75 to $80 depending on condition. Tell me why Charlie somehow interrupts every single video that I've done since we've gotten her. I'm so sorry, you guys. Let me put her outside and we'll get right back to the haul. All right, back to the haul. I have never heard of this brand either. This is Olympia Activewear. I was able to find a set somewhere. Yes, I was able to find two sets. So I found this burgundy one and I also found a blue one. However, the blue one I've already shipped, so I don't have it to show you guys right now. But Olympia Activewear I found is really, really popular in Hawaii. And if you can get the sets, they can go pretty fast. And I think I sold the first one for around 50 and they go between 50 to 75. So it's a good find if you can find a set. Then I found, I don't know how to pronounce this, you guys. Don't laugh. Lay Agency? I'm not really sure, but it's just this really cute little silk top. I have a thread up luxury box that I'm sending in. I'm probably just gonna pop this in there instead of trying it on Poshmark. So we'll see how much I get for it there. Then I didn't find a lot of jeans this weekend, but I was able to find these free people, high-waisted, skinny jeans, and they're in a size 31, and I feel like 31 is a size that moves pretty well, so I was excited to pick these up. Then just two cute little cloth and stone pieces. Um, one is a jumper and one is a romper. So this is the jumper, super cute. I've actually already worn this piece. Cloth and stone, if you haven't seen before, looks like this. Um, this one was not an anthropology piece, but this one was. So cloth and stone is sometimes sold at anthropology. The way that you can tell, well, I'll just tell you the way that I can tell because there might be other ways to know. This was the romper. But the way that I know is I just Google the item and if there's an anthropology stock photo, then I know that it was sold at anthropology. Otherwise, it was probably sold just at Cloth and Stone or Marshalls um, or another store like that. 
Then finally, and probably my favorite find of the weekend, I found these Swedish has -beens. I've never heard of this brand, and if you haven't either, please take a good look. Make sure you look for these. They are these wooden shoes. Uh, apparently, Sarah Jessica Parker really loves sporting these, and they go quickly and for good money on Poshmark. So definitely keep an eye out for these. These are a be on the lookout item. So that was today's haul, but before I go, I wanted to show you for the new year, I got this really cute, it's a scratch off map. So I'm gonna be keeping track to see if I can get all 50 states before the year is over. Let me grab the map and I'll show you what it looks like. So it's just super simple and I can keep track of what states I've shipped to. There's no real reason for doing this, just other than it's fun. I'll leave a link below. I got it off Amazon. I think it was $14.99 or something like that if you guys want to do it as well. But I just was converting my spare bedroom into a posh room and I thought that this would just be a fun, nice touch. So. All right, so that is my weekend haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if there were any brand new to you brands. I know there definitely was for me. I had never heard of Swedish husbands before and I never knew they went for so much money. So I'm glad that I came across those. Uh, comments below if you have any comments and otherwise subscribe so you don't miss my next video. See you then.